So um, we, we've we just decided to record a quick introduction for Lesia. She's not feeling well today and won't be joining, but we'll send her a recording. Um, so basically what we were talking with Bianca is that uh, we already have a preliminary board structure. We have resources, we have product ideation stuff, we have MVP design development stuff and launch preparation. You know, overall these kind of are um, important lists, but they are not really like to do doing it is not yeah it's not a board at all this is really just an overview of what i saw as the main areas that need to be worked on and my yeah. vision for that is that we'll have an owner for each of these cards um but we do also need to have more of a task board and um if this year wants to uh, create that that would be great but for here really i thought if we can find somebody to take on each of these cards and make sure that that stuff gets done. Um, and then we have somebody who can coordinate the pieces coming together, then we should be good. Because this is really, I mean, it's not a product management kind of thing that has a lot of other aspects yeah. in there as well, right? Um, so I'm gonna create this um, Trello board just to associate it with the channel. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Um, yeah, let's keep it resource. Let's add this product um, uh, ideation board in here. And that's going to be uh, Oh no, my computer is lagging. Yeah, I have too many tabs. Work corner. Have you used it? Uh, what? There's a Chrome app called uh, Work corner that I use for tabs management. It oh. saved my life. Well, my <laughs> problem with these is that I don't trust any of these companies to, uh, you know, <laughs> deal with with my overload of information like. If something happens <laughs> and I lose these tabs, I won't forgive them. Fair enough. I've used it for about a year and it's been fine, but yes, I understand the pain. I'll, I'll check it out. Um, so I think what we can start with is just a simple to do doing done. And mm -hmm. what we can do is also add like a later. Um, yeah. And just start filling these in. I think what would be important is either we have to um, use like labels for specific types of tasks like design or development or like data database or stuff like that um, or we have to create separate boards. I think separate boards would be ideal on scale but we don't have yet no. so many tasks so um, I would just keep labels. One of the things what I would suggest as well is it looks like our members within Corona uh, at least like technical teams are all migrating from Trello to GitHub, GitHub uh, projects. They also have uh, kind of this Kanban functionality. So in terms of this management of if we need multiple Trello boards, etc. anyways, I would suggest for like technical questions, I'm, I'm talking about implementation already, right? The moment something start touching code, uh, it's better, I guess, to manage it on GitHub. That way yep. it's much easier when we have people just onboarding them or they only now joining team literature review this specific project. You just simply like, oh, you got lost in our Trello board, et cetera, right? Like uh, the, the problem from early days of Corona Y then you simply point out like, if you want to code, here is GitHub, here are like a list of issues, just grab one and you know, uh, work on it. So just again, embrace the open sourceness of, of the process, but keep all of this product management related stuff on Trello. I think it will be like probably like that good mix of things and uh, that way we kind of split this issue of, oh yeah. which Trello board are you talking about right then you can easily just distinguish 
Okay, okay. Trello board, there are a lot of tasks to do and so on. I completely agree. And that's why I made this Trello board to be more like a hub for the resources. So for new people coming on, they immediately see everything that's going on and they can find like an area to join and they can find out the context. But I, I do also think looking at what has happened so far in Trello and what's happening in the projects, I don't think people will be using that a lot and really tracking, tracking the work. And so to have uh, somebody uh, as a coordinator looking into what's happening in the different areas and putting updates into the Trello board would be super, super useful. Uh, and then let the people um, work wherever they want to work and whichever way it works best for them. Because I also saw, yeah, lots of people, team, lots of teams are using GitHub and it seems to be fine. So I don't want to force anybody to do anything in Trello because chances are nobody will really do that anyway because it's yeah, not a the, team where we do daily stand-ups and full-time the, work. The key was using Trello is making sure that there is a person that is responsible for it. So assuming yeah. that's like mm -hmm. maybe, she can actually aggregate uh, all the things out of different places like GitHub or yeah. others. And there is this GitHub power up so you can attach specific um, branches, commits and other yeah. things or discussions to it too. But I'd leave that up to her because really like, yes, maybe a, this, this kind of to do doing done will work for her, but maybe it's just an overhead. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what, um, she proposes, um, but I, I think this last year. yes, this last uh, year she's not joining us this. today. She's uh, not feeling well, but we're recording an introduction for her to get a feeling of what we think should be going on. Yeah, sorry, I'm a bit, a bit late. I was talking about house stuff. So what what we're thinking here is just ideating a basic structure with um you know um labels acting as you know specific kind of indications of what the card is about so this one is product uh we should have something like uh finalized version two of um uh ux on figma uh that would go into uh design we would have you, Tyler, and Yon. Uh, hmm. Let me try to add you here. I assume that's you. It, it is me because it's TPS. There's not many TPSs in the in the mix. <laughs> cool. So basically, I mean, if you want in a workspace to sort stuff, I've already got a Miro board with all the like the research plan on it. And for holding, the good thing with the mirror boards is they're infinite. You could just literally have an entire section to do with planning. Yeah, I, I linked it. I linked that. it up to my overview, and we were just saying that before you joined, Tyler. I think people are already working in their recording spaces, and that's why. Yeah, I really think if we if we agree that this is a complete overview of all the parts that need to come together, having somebody be the owner of each of them. No, and that makes then sense. Though. Lysia updates what the status is, would probably work well, better are, than having this very granular Trello task. Board. There are two parts to it there is knowledge preservation and the actual accountability and tasks. And this board acts as that knowledge preservation stuff. And, you know, there will, will be cross pollination of resources between these two. But this board should act as an actual, like, day to day. Um, responsibilities of whoever uh, is willing to commit the contribution because it will be super important, especially given the historical performance of, um, you know, volunteer mechanics in Pernoi to have someone like Lesa to have a list of to do's and, you know, expected um, progress on them every single day. And that will help with both accountability and understanding what is happening because right now we're kind of like i'm i'm sure that someone is working on something it's not clear, clear who and on what 
Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of Corona wise entire problem with knowledge management, <laughs> knowing who is doing what and when. Yeah. Things can happen, but we don't really know output? when. Yeah, we don't know when it's happening or at what pace or like when the output is going to be done. Like the result, that's always it just comes you know, magically. Like just yeah, it just, it just appears like, uh, ten minutes before deadline. Everything <laughs> comes together, and we're all going. Oh well, it's fine. Or yeah. sweating. I mean, this is really um, something that I'd like to make clear to to Alessia. It's 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 not so much like um, probably how how her projects usually work because this is a lot more coordination because it's a lot more coordination and documentation of what's happening because that's the part people are probably not doing because they're focusing on the on the work on hand. Yeah. yeah they're, 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 too, too much concentrating on the doing rather than the recording. It's mm -hmm. the uninteresting part of work that in an I mean, that's a difference I noticed in, in this volunteer organization because people are not contributing full time and they don't, they can't really commit to maybe necessarily time frames. And sometimes something amazing gets done really quickly and sometimes something doesn't get done at all. Something simple and so it's really done gathering. Forever. Information. <laughs> the simplicity is the, the hardest thing to do for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's just correct. Yeah, no, but it's really it just requires somebody who constantly goes around and checks in and is aware mm. of everything that's happening in all the different places and gathers them all in one single place so that other people can easily get an overview and understanding yeah. of what's happening. Well, I mean, I think Lesia was already familiar with how, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. So like the way I see it, the missing piece is like we're building a clock, right? And every clock needs like energy source, right? Some uh, either spring or a battery. And then if it's mechanical clock with the spring, you need the stepping mechanism, right? That kind of every second just kind of does this like tick, tick. It doesn't allow the spring fully to, right? Kind of expand. But at the same, like only portion of energy should be used, and we just need this regularity in the process. That way, people won't see that oh, it's about commitment. If you do like really small, like kind of it's, species, yeah, it's it's the idea of like little daily habits rather than going here yes. a nine month project where you may be exactly. influential in some bits of it, and it feels really amorphous and hard to manage. Whereas if it's like, well, if you just did this every day or every other day you know if you just did this small thing and let us know you've done it and then go away and then come back and do a small thing and and yeah it's just that if everyone does a little bit consistently then things get done but it's it's hard to feel like you're doing anything substantial and it's that sort of yeah. psychological you've got to trick people into thinking that it's easy to do but it's also meaningful yeah, like, it's not a trick but like you've got to fool the mind yeah what what i was observing is essentially like the way everything we were doing is we had some people who are like, okay, I want to build this piece. And then they just, they just jump into the zone and just like build it. Right. For example, like my can is like this. Right. Uh, but then other tasks are actually require like exactly this regularity and so on. And this is what, Again, kind of like my proposal was this, okay, GitHub, if something is kind of requires code, et cetera, those type of guys, like, you know, uh, uh, members would probably tend to be this, oh, I'm getting into the zone, here's my coffee, here is like uh, something beside me, and I'm just like coding, et cetera. Like those type of tasks, again, the like GitHub already covered. On Trail, it's really great. Like, I really like this, the, the Bianca's approach just to have this overview, right, bigger picture, and then smaller details are like on the, on the separate pieces. So that's why we don't get this flooded one into one really huge board, one enormous like mirror board, whatever like the tool is, is, is used at yeah. point in time, right? It's like atomizing. And what I found is especially in terms of onboarding people, it's much easier to understand, like people, like a lot of, we tend to have members that would love to see kind of bigger picture. They want to see this end-to-end -end type of thing, right? But it's so, super intense to actually try and do it. Right, exactly. So that's why we need tools just kind of like, okay, you want to understand what is going on with your X? Here is one piece, 
if you get familiar with it, you probably know yeah. 90% of stuff. And uh, like we need to tend like in that direction. And I think we'll be in a really good spot if we just like kind of follow this type of uh, yeah. track. And what's interesting is that we may, you know, create this because the the main board for Corona Y and Trello it worked the problem is what when it stopped working is when Daniel kind of like uh, lacked time to to be the janitor mm -hmm. I lacked time Anton lacked time and you know it slowly started to uh, you know um, die off but you could eventually go into it like and you see people having conversations you know like Boris yeah. Atma, like d discussing something and something is happening and that was recent like june 17th and no one is managing this board at all and and it's fascinating knowledge accumulation works yeah. yeah but i mean sure. that's that's what i meant like i think for that yeah. it's really good to have have it for the discussion around a specific thing i just don't see it working as a task management tool unless there's going to be a lot of duplicate information yeah i think the task management has to be you know rewarded it's actually like the information becomes actionable like it's like hey we found viewfind we made a, a proof of concept now we need to review it some somehow like that's information that's knowledge but it's also a task for someone because if no one is willing to take that task on no one will do it and it's important to like first of all get a commitment from someone like hey can you spend 10 minutes just going through this like the Serge or andre or someone and just you know expect him to do it and if he can't do it you know we, we'll get a quick like sorry can't do it today or tomorrow and we'll find someone else and just having that clarity will be super important yeah. No, that I completely agree with. And, and at the moment, what I've set up there is super high level and it's not actionable. So that's definitely the next step. Um, and maybe I can find some time to do that together with Lesia and break it down into these more yeah. action items than there currently are. Yeah, that I to think it makes a lot of sense. And actually, more so than this, this pretty arbitrary measure of success that I put in there. It, those should be the action items as, as checkboxes because then it's super easy to see where the progress is um, yeah. without having to move cards between columns. Yeah, I agree. So I think that sounds like a good plan. Uh, I'm going to send this recording to Lesia. Um, hopefully she gets better and we'll probably have a, um, you know, a, another kickoff session with her. And we'll hear her ideas because I, I'm sure she has plenty just based off her experience of Corona Y in April um, and her attempts to to kind of coordinate this this craziness. Sounds good. Oh, yep. Sounds sounds good. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> um, so let's let's uh, let's hope for her to get better very quickly and then um, see when we can have no that, pressure that next call. Is she, well, is she, she it, not, there, there isn't really well because then. there is work going on at the yeah. moment so it will just be a little bit more work tidying up yeah uh, oh. but i've i've done that today and it wasn't it was fine just putting in all the links to stuff that has happened yeah so I, it's one thing i need to go through is basically go through loads of youtube videos of conversations with researchers especially like the the the, the timestamps for specific things because then and of course there's loads of them out there with like clever notes clever points little details it's about bringing all of them into like a list of things that need looking at and then a number of people interested in the ux side of it you know getting in there writing mm. out the ideas writing out the synthesized thoughts from that coming up with a big sort of affinity and then working out how to group all them ideas into something resembling an affinity diagram. And once we've got an affinity diagram, we might we starting to have some like more clear thoughts of what we need to do. But, you know, I could do it, but it feels like the whole point is to do, there's no point of being only one person doing yeah, they, that. Yeah, exactly. It's all idea is knowledge, understanding of it. Well, the idea is right to, to spread this institutional knowledge on other people. Call point. 
spot, like more see the same peak narrated and synthesize a lot of the thoughts that have already oh, way, come to pass and tell well, that's actually a really good point and that's a really good point and you know andre said a really good thing there and and this researcher from wherever said another good thing and just try and pull all of them ideas into one space so we can see them all in one one, one idea space speaking of all of the ideas in one spot uh, uh i remember bianca i think it was part of the conversation with you. I, I forgot who actually suggested it. The great idea of for every like Google Doc that is created, you just add one account, let's say team at coronavirus.org, or maybe do like a team specific account to every document. That way, if you log in into that account, the G Drive can go, see everything. Exactly. Yeah. Like all, I mean, like just simply this compila automatic compilation of lists of all of the documents related to something that will be like a really huge change from April, right? Because this yeah. is exactly like- it, So we have a drive now? We, we do have a drive. Just have the drive. Yeah, we can just but put in shortcuts there. But manually, Yeah. Right? okay. Yeah. Manually, like the guy who runs the G drive should do, like, I mean, needs to now spend time for this. But now versus somebody like, oh, if you're working on this, created something, simply Which, add. Share it to this person, at least one person, and that's that one account, and then everyone else. Then you don't have to go, oh, shit, I need to send it to Bianca. What's Bianca's email? Okay, oh, what's exactly. Anton's email? And oh, what's, it's like 10 people get added into it. Just automatically add that one person, that one account. And then actually, actually, I'm it can be distributed to everyone who needs it after that. Exactly. I'm also like, I know that uh, with Google accounts, right, you have this uh, ability to do, let's say, team plus whatever label you want yep. at team plus right. docs. Yeah. Right. The, the question is so I know that in mail, then you can do automatic labeling of incoming messages. I wonder, can you do something with docs if they were like added as team plus something? Well, can you do something like this? Because if that is possible, we just, we just need to have like this. Like it would be team plus. Uh, I see this structure, like people share to team plus docs, then some uh, API pulls these um basically categorizes them by the you know teams or type of content and we just dump it on the website and there's a, a keyword cloud of documents and you can just navigate it mm -hmm. well what i'm even except the, then there's the, the, the responsibility is in every single person to make sure there's no personal data in there i mean well yeah regarding any it, continuous integration of of data yes <laughs> yeah, data uh, does not get points. It's true for everything. Like again, like I'm, I'm right now fighting all of the like committing of of keys, a API keys, like uh, credentials to GitHub repos. And again, it's uh, it's another story. Too. I'm just yeah, raising that policy and compliance flag again because we really need to do it. It's in it's in yeah. it's in process. Um, Osh Osh bits doing it, isn't she? Uh, yeah, but she needs yeah. help with information. Uh, no doubt. We all need help <laughs> all the fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, speaking, speaking of help, I now have to drop out because I'm trying mm. to get some jobs to people in the Coronavirus community. That's amazing. Um, about to yeah. have a meeting about that. So Perfect. Keep us <laughs> I have to oh, I'm going to go cook dinner. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Okay. I'm going to be eating dinner guys, while doing that. So. Get well soon. Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. thanks everyone. Speak to you soon, everybody.